Okay, gentlemen, hands up. Hands up. Let's get started. Okay. All right. So, uh, Sultan Al Nazi, you want to start here? What is the skill? Yeah. Uh, after have helping verb, use the best uh, participant. Verb three. Yeah. Now, uh, let's see. My students, I need to see your hands up. Khaled. Yeah. Okay. So, this, by the way, what does it say? What did I, I wrote some information here. What is, can you, re, can you say this again? Yeah, helping verb, auxiliary verb, have, not the yeah. verb. Yeah, so this is not the full verb, okay, gentlemen? It's not the full verb, it's the helping verb, the auxiliary, okay? Now, after the auxiliary, what comes after it? Past participle. Yeah, and some of you know this as verb three, right? Right. Okay, all right, Suheb, can you read this? Okay, no problem. The verb have in any of its forms have has having had. Uh, be sure that the verb that flo uh, follows it is in it is in the past participle form. What does it mean? Be sure. Be sure. Uh, Make always. sure. Make sure that the verb, the verb that follows, the verb that follows must be verb three, right? Past participle is verb three, okay? Yeah. Make sure, be sure, make sure, confirm, okay? Michal, I want you to read the example on the left. They had walk to school. Now, do you see this little star, everybody? You see that little yes. star? What is that little star? What does it mean, this little star? Mistake. Hmm? Mistake. Wrong. I mean, there's a mistake, right? Why? Look, what the, it says well, up here. What does it say? After have, uh, we should uh, put uh, past participle. Is this the past participle? No. 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 So what should it be, Misha? Well, they had walked to school. Should be? Had walked. Had walked. Do you understand, everybody? Yes. Should be had walked. Jaffer, second example, yes. Jaffer. Uh, we have seen the show. This is okay. wrong. Yeah, it's wrong. What should it be? Uh, should be have seen the show. Uh -huh. So the problem is the formula, right? Yes. It's, a, it's a formula problem. Okay. Uh, hashtag four for us. Yes. He has a talk that is, should be has taken. Exactly. So where's the problem here? Talk. Yeah, we cannot. Took, what is it? What is took? It's verb. Uh, verb two. It's verb two, right? I don't want verb two. Okay. I want verb three. Has taken. Good. Muhammad Ali. Next. Uh, having eight, he went uh, to school. Mm -hmm. Having eight, he went to school. Having, ha having uh, eaten, having eaten, he went to school. Yes, yes. Now, this is very high level grammar. Maybe, uh, <laughs> Hana, can you explain this one? Do you know do you know why we put ing at, at the beginning of the sentence like this? It's uh, continuous. That's not why. Uh, I think I'll, 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 I'll give you I'll give you a clue. I'll give you a small clue. It's TOEFL skill 13. Okay, uh, now you're in, you're, I know you're in 04. Now, did you study skill 13 with your teacher? No, we, we are on a skill 10. Ah, this is skill 13. What is 
Find it in your book. What is it called? Skill 13. Oh, reuse, reduce, adjective clause, correct? Aha. If this is a reduced adjective clause. Yeah. And sometimes we put the reduced adjective clause at the beginning. At the beginning. Look at the second page of skill 13. See the second page of skill 13? Yeah. At, in the middle, in the middle, you can see some examples. By the way, tell me the page number and I'll just go there. What's the page number? Uh, one, two, three. 123 okay yeah. all right uh, 124 okay i want you to look i want you to look at the example down here see the example down here yes yes Can you read that, Mohana? This example. Preparing. Now preparing to give a speech. Uh, the president is meeting with his ex force. Yeah. This is called, this one is called a reduced adjective clause. It's called a reduced adjective clause. And you can sometimes put the reduced clause. You see, we can sometimes put this reduced clause at the beginning. Okay? So let me go back to the page that we're doing. What page are we on, you guys? Page uh, 164. Go back on the page that we're doing. This is a reduced adjective clause at the, at the beginning. But what is the problem? Obviously, what's the problem here? <clears throat> verb three. You must put verb three. So this is a formula problem, gentlemen. It's a formula problem. Okay. For us, okay. try the next one. She should have did the work. Okay. Now. Uh, Mohana. Yes. I think in 04, you are learning this in, uh, well, you're not learning it now. You will learn it in unit, unit 10. Okay. So I think right now you're only learning unit seven and unit eight. But yeah. when you study, when you study unit 10, you will see this example in unit 10. Okay. So what's the problem? Uh, let's see, who did this one? Faraz, who, who did yes. this? What's the problem with the, the formula? What's the problem in this formula? Uh, verb two. Mm -hmm. What should be? Should, should be? We want verb three, don't we? So gentlemen, Look at all of these examples. What, what do you see that? Do you see in all of the examples? What do you see in all of them? Uh, you see auxiliary and verb three. The auxiliary in all of them is have, have plus verb three. three in all of these. What for, what's this formula? This formula has a name. A uh, perfect uh, symbol. Perfect tense. Perfect tense. Just uh, perfect. Uh, perfect. Uh, you see? Uh, what is the first one? Uh, past past perfect. Perfect. Past perfect. perfect. How about the second one? Uh, present, 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 present perfect. Present. The third one? Present perfect. Also, also present perfect. Okay? Uh, I'm not going to talk about these right now because these are... Uh, that's a different level of grammar, okay? All right, but they are all perfect, all of them. Now let's go to the next page, okay? Uh, Mohana, 
Can you read the example? Yeah. Uh, my my friend. Yeah, my friend sang in the uh, show. No. When you guys don't study the irregular verbs, you will make many mistakes in the TOEFL. What are the forms? Yesterday we did this. What are the forms for this verb, sing? Verb one? Sing. Verb sing. two? Sing. 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 And verb three. Sing. Sing. Is this verb two or three or verb one? Which one is it? Or verb three. 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 Can I just can I just put verb three in this case? No. 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 If I put verb three, then this example is incorrect. Do you understand? Yeah. Yeah. Cannot just put verb three. So what should I do then? Uh, I, I, my friend has over some... here. Oh, look on the other. Look on to the right side. What is this one? Verb two. Present. It's verb two. Right. Okay. And then what about this? Uh, this the formula. Yeah. Right? This is the formula, the perfect formula. What is it? Have plus, plus three. verb three. Do you understand? That's yes. Yeah. If you yeah, only I... put if you only put verb three, you lose marks in TOEFL. But I okay. think verb three could be adjective. It, that's true, it could be an adjective, but if you use it as an adjective in this example, then where's the verb? Yeah, okay. Aha, okay. Khaled, next example. Okay. Uh, he become angry at his friend. Do you see a problem? Yes. What is uh, the problem? Become, what? become uh, verb three. We don't yes. have... Uh, yeah, this is verb three, gentlemen. Yeah. Now, wait a minute, teacher. I think what what are what are they? Verb one, two, three. Tell me, it's verb one. Same. Okay. Same. Oh. Okay, so maybe it's verb one. No. But we need this no. becomes. Yeah, that's right. You need an S. Yeah. So it's it's not verb one, right? It's verb three, and verb three is incorrect, right? You cannot just have verb three. So what should it be, Khaled? Uh, has become or uh, became. So why don't you uh, say both of them one by one? Use became. Uh, he became angry. Hmm. At the end, or? Yeah, uh, or? He has become angry at his friend. Excellent, excellent, well done, okay. Next, let's see. Uh, has everybody in my class spoken? Mohammed, I think you came late. You do the next one. The boats, Hashtag seven. Uh, yes, the boats sank in the uh, ocean. Sunk, is that verb one? Uh, is that verb one? What is it, guys? What no. is it? Verb three. Verb three. It's Sing. verb three. Can I use verb three here? No, we no. can't. No. So I want you to fix it. Put it uh, to verb uh, two. Change. All right, do it. Uh, sank. The boat sank in the ocean. In the ocean. Or. There's a second choice. There's another choice. Has. Has this sunk. Say it. In the, ocean. the boat. Uh, the boat has sunk in the ocean. Okay. The boat has sunk in the ocean. All right. You got it? Yeah. 
You got two choices. The boat yes. sank or the boat has sunk. Okay. All right. Hands up again, everybody. Quickly. Put your hands up. Okay. All right, Misha. What does it say here in, in the gray box? What does it say? Fail forms after half. Half plus past parts. Yeah. And what is this formula? It's perfect. It's the perfect formula. Okay. Half plus the past part simple. Okay. Did you read this note over here? Oh, never mind. Let's we'll skip that. Don't worry about that. All right. So now I want you to read Michelle down here. What does it say? Uh, underline the verbs or past participle twice. Okay. Then, then indicate if the sentence are correct. correct. Are correct C or incorrect I. Okay, so do number one, Suheb Halawani, number one. Okay, the young girl drank a glass of milk. Now, why is there an I? I don't understand. Why do we have I? I for what? Uh, okay, correct. Uh, because uh, you should put uh, has or uh, you want to press uh, to replace for uh, verb two. That's right. So we've got two choices to fix this example. Either the girl. The girl has drunk. What's verb two? Give me verb two. Verb drank. That's right. So verb two is drank. Okay. The young girl drank, D R A N K. Or second uh, option drunk. As drunk. All right, uh, Muhammad Ali, how about number two? Before uh, before she left, uh, she had uh, asked her mother for uh, permission. Uh, hey, did we study the past perfect today? Sure. Yeah, so which action is finished first? Uh, she had asked her mother first had then. asked yeah and then she left. she left excellent all right gentlemen i'm going to give you three minutes now i want you to answer this quickly go three minutes Two minutes. One minute, 45 seconds. One minute, 30 seconds. One 
One minute, 15 seconds. One minute. Forty five seconds. Thirty seconds. Fifteen seconds. Time is up. Okay, I'm gonna try something new today. I'm going to I'm going to launch this poll, and you will have uh, ten uh, uh, ten questions here. Okay, so. Uh, Everybody, I want you to answer number one as as uh, we'll use we'll use a we'll choose a for incorrect. No, a for correct. Let's use let's use a for correct. Okay, a for correct. Do you understand, everybody? Yeah. A yeah. is correct, and we'll we'll use uh, beta as incorrect. You understand? Yeah. 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 So everybody on number one, you should choose beta. And then number two, what do you choose? B. Uh, sorry. A. 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 Number two, sorry. you choose alpha. Do you understand? Yeah. 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 And then I want you to do, write the, put the answers that you wrote on your book. Do them quickly. Do them now. Go. Everybody, do these answers very, very quickly, please. Hurry. I need you to do them very quickly, guys. Very quickly. Hurry, guys, quickly. Hurry up, guys. Six of you are finished. Come on, seven people are finished. Um, stretch. Yeah. Can I leave? Because I have a class now. Sure, yeah, just finish this really quickly and then go. Yes, I did it. Okay, so then I will, I will, I will finish the recording and you can see the results, okay? Oh, Keep going, okay. guys. Everybody finish it quickly. Mr. Rich and me, can I leave? Yes, yes, you can go, no problem. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Now, okay. I think everybody is done. So now let's look at the results here, okay? Let's see your results. All right. So one person answered wrong for number one. How is that possible? The book gives you the answer. And number two. So, maybe wow. When he's Some, for somebody, is, somebody is really bad at cheating. You, you can't even copy the answer. <laughs> so number one and two. Wow. Somebody lost marks in TOEFL for that. All right. Let's try number three. Let's see. So alpha, I told you that alpha is the correct answer, correct, right? Yeah. Alpha means it's correct. So let's, I'm going to put a C over here. Okay. M most of you selected uh, alpha. Number four, most everybody said it's incorrect. Beta. Okay. Which is beta. 
Number five, most people said incorrect, beta. Number six, most people said that it's alpha. Most people said it's correct. Seven, most people think it's incorrect. Number seven, eight, eight, most people think that it is incorrect. Okay. Nine, most people say nine is correct. Okay. Ten, uh, most people think that is incorrect. Okay. All right. Now, I'm using your answers to check these questions. Okay. So let's take a look, Muhammad Ali. Uh, number three, where should I put a line? Now, it says you must underline, right? Where okay. should I underline? Uh, begin. I should underline this, having finished, right? Yeah, but I think it's tall. Now, is that correct? Having finished? I think, I think yes. Yeah. Having finished is correct. Okay. So I think I'll I'll put a second line later. What about over here? How about this one? He he began. I think it's incorrect. Okay. You lose marks on TOEFL. This sentence is correct. All correct. The whole example is correct. You see, we're only looking, you are only looking at the perfect formula, the perfect formula here. Okay. So this is have and verb three. So sentence three is correct. Khalid, you want to try number two? Yes. Uh, the mistake in uh, broke. Okay. So where do I where do I put the line? Uh, under uh, broke. Well, in this exercise, we underline the verb all parts. So if oh. we underline all parts of the verb, okay, I'm okay. going to put two lines here, two lines here, and you say that it's incorrect. Yes, incorrect. Okay. Why do you say that it's incorrect? Okay, goodbye, Mr. Uh, goodbye. Because, Why do you say it's incorrect? Because uh, have uh, and uh, verb two. Yeah. So the formula, you cannot put have in verb two. We must yes. use have plus verb three. Verb three. So what is the correct set? The correction, if I make it correctly, it have or has. Has broken. Has broken. Okay. There you go. This is the correct answer, gentlemen. Okay. All right. How about, uh, let's see, uh, Osama Alamari. What about number five? I think it's incorrect. Why? Where's the problem? Uh, uh, completes. Okay, what should it be? Should it be? Uh, completed. Completed, that's right. We want verb three, don't we? Okay, verb three, completed. Okay, all right, uh, Sultan al -Anazi. Yeah. What about number six? How I about number six? It is correct, has become, it's correct. So number six has become. Uh, well, yeah, it's correct. It is correct. Yeah, we have the, the auxiliary. And then, we have verb three. Exactly. You got it. Okay. Uh, Muhammad also mail. You want to try the next one? Okay. Uh, she has rarely rode her horse in the park. Mm -hmm. Do you see a uh, problem? No, I think rarely is a regular verb. 
Rarely is not a verb. You lose marks in TOEFL. Rarely is an adverb, okay? You just lost marks. Okay. This example is incorrect, gentlemen. It is incorrect. So where, what's the formula here, Mohammed? Find the verb, no. the, the perfect formula. Let's find no, the perfect no. formula. Is there a broad? The, the formula that we start, that we're learning here is have, right? Have yeah. plus. Perfect. Plus. Verb three. Verb. Where is verb three? Uh, road. There is no verb three. What is it? It's verb two. Yep, this is verb two. So the problem is here. This is incorrect. So what should it be instead of road? Huh? Okay. What should it be? Instead of road, road is verb two, change it to verb three. Can you do that? Muhammad, do you know verb three? Uh, maybe ridden. Yes, ridden is the correct answer. Okay, we want to put ridden. Okay, Muhammad Ali, how about number eight? Uh, number eight, uh, having so uh, the fell, he was uh, quite uh, dis disappointed. Okay. I think it's uh, incorrect. Because ha having so, the correct answer is having seen. Exactly. You cannot put what? What's the problem verb in this two. case? Huh? You cannot put verb, verb two. two. You cannot put verb two, right? Khalid. Khalid, you want to do number nine? Okay. Uh, to, uh, Tom has the, the thought about talk, uh, taking. That job. Okay. Uh, I think uh, it's correct. Yes, this example is correct, right? Why? Because we have uh, the formula. Have, yes, yeah. have plus uh, verb three. Have plus verb three. Correct formula. All right, Osama Alamari. How about the last one? Uh, incorrect. Okay. Where do I put the line? Might and. Uh... Should be all respond. of this, all of this, right? Okay. Yes. And what's the problem? Uh, respond. Okay. So should be what? Have responded. Correct. We want verb three, don't we? Okay. Yeah. Re verb three in this example is respond dead, ed. So I'm going to write might have responded. There you go. And what should I put up here in this example? Muhammad Ali, you, you said it before. Uh, having seen. Having seen. And what should this Muhammad also mail? What should this uh, one be? Having seen. seen. Also male, number seven, what should it be? Has ridden. Yeah, has ridden. Often ridden. Okay, what is this word often? Do you know? Adverb. An adverb. That's an adverb, gentlemen. Okay. All right, guys, we're done. That's all for today. Tomorrow, I'm going to do skill 31, okay? Okay. Bye, gentlemen. Goodbye. Good